Welcome to an example in which we have a polar graph and we're trying to identify what the right equation is for it. So we should go to the notes that I supplied for you. So um, here's the notes from, it's right at the top of module 5, 10.345. So um, anyway, look for the graph. It's, it's like these kind, isn't it? In fact, it's right here. So I'm saying, oh, that's, that's a cos 2 theta, meaning if it's even, the number of leaves is double. So like a 2 theta would produce 4 leaves, or a 4 theta produces 8. Whereas for it's odd, like 3, it's only 3, and 5, it's only 5. So odd stays the same, even doubles is what they're saying. So it looks like this one must be cosine 2 theta, or maybe sine. It could be either one, cosine or sine 2 theta. Let's go back to it. So, um, there it is. Um, it's going to be cosine or sine. Two theta. Uh-oh, we have both of them. <laughs> we have both options. It's got to be one of those. How do we know which one? Well, notice we have no petal that's centered on the x-axis. Right, this is the x-axis right here. And there's no petal that's centered on the x-axis. So notice, you go back to the notes, I wrote a note up here for you about that, about where it's centered. Let me, let me show you real clearly here. It says that, um, that, what? Cosine is always centered on the x, sine on the y, except roses of the form, boom, which may or may not center on the y, but never center on the x. So basically the deal is cosine centers on the x, sine centers on the y. So which was ours on this one? It's not centered on the x-axis. So it's a sine, not a cosine. If it was a cosine, it would be centered on the x-axis. So it's sine, so it's this one. It's not a cosine because it's not centered on the x-axis. That fits with what the notes say.